Your first T-shirts have arrived. Yeah! yeah. Living the dream, I love that. You know what? I will have some meatloaf. Let's have some meatloaf. You want some? Yes. I knew you'd go. Hey, mom! The meatloaf! We want it now! What's going on, YouTube? I just wanted to make this quick video right here on the Tahoe, just to give you guys an update on it. As you guys know, last time I did go ahead and change up the front end, so you know it looks a little bit different now. And I think it makes it look better. You know, it's a little bit different there, so the bumper has a bigger look right there. And also I have been working on the AC this week on the truck. So, you know, I went ahead and changed all this area right here and I'm just waiting right now on the compressor because I'm gonna change it out since it was making some noise. And I also am gonna be working on removing the clutch fan and wiring up my electric fans since, you know, this is not gonna work right here since all the air is just escaping, you know, and it was just temporary. So that's good there. And I'm gonna have to, you know, remove it and then do the factory wiring. I'm gonna get it off of 03 to 06 and put it in the factory location right there. So, you know, I'm just waiting on this right now. So I just want to get some of that stuff out the way first. So, you know, I can start working on other parts like the suspension maybe. And then I do want to change out my steering wheel and do other things to this truck as well. So either dropping the truck or probably working on the interior because I do want to change out my steering wheel to the wood grain since, you know, I have it on the Yukon. So I want to go ahead and swap it out. I think it'll look even better if the truck is all dropped because as you can see, you know, there's a big gap right here and then also in the front. But, you know, it makes it look a little bit tall and you know, I like my trucks a little bit lower. So I'll be looking into that. Or other than that, I do want to change, of course, my steering wheel cause I do have the wood grain on the Yukon and I want to swap it over here and I already have all the parts. So, you know, I just want to get all this stuff out the way first just because you know, since it's all hot and everything, it's probably better to put the AC on the truck. I think she's looking better, you know, versus the first day that I bought her. So that's how she looks right now. And back here, you know, I'm pretty happy with her with the Escalade pillars and then also the Escalade rear bumper cover right there. So I'm sure whenever I start working on the suspension and dropper or anything like that, you know, she'll look way different, even though right now she looks good, but I think she'll look even better. And on the mirrors, I'm liking that, you know, I can still control them with the lock right here. And then also, you know, with the unlock. So let me know if you guys did any of the wiring right there for your trucks. And you know, if you like that or what do you think about the mirrors? Also guys, if you haven't checked out my Amazon storefront, I'm gonna go ahead and show you right now. I went ahead and added some t-shirts to the channel and you can see the mirrors are still working right there. So that's pretty cool. But I got the shirts right here. Let's take a good look at it, all right? And I'm not sure if you've noticed them on my shorts, but I got the shirt right there with the logo for the channel. And then also this one right here. So they got the images in the front and the back. And I went ahead and ordered me a set, you know, to just make sure and they look good. And you know, they look real clear, sure. so. It lets you say everything you want to say. So if you guys like to support the channel, you know, I did go ahead and add them to my storefront and you can just, you know, take a look at them. If you like them, you can purchase one. And, you know, they got different logos on them. So I got the words in the front and then also the images in the back. And I made different designs so you can go ahead and check them out, like I said, right there. But I just went ahead and ordered these two right here so that I can make sure that the images look good. And, you know, because I don't want you to get something that looks all messed up. But as you can see, you know, the pictures are real good and, you know, they're not blurry or anything like that. So I was happy about that. And, you know, I like the shirt, so... This one I like because, you know, it's real hot in Houston right now, so I'd rather use some white. And then also I like using black, so I went ahead and ordered both right there. But you guys let me know what you think down below in the comments on this right here. You know, if you like them or what do you think about them. And I will upload some more features later on or different images. You just check out the store right there. Often I'll be updating it. And if you guys have different designs that you'd like me to make, you know, I can make them. Just let me know down below in the comments, you know, and I can go ahead and check that out. Like I said, I mean, I'm the one that's designing them and I upload them. So, so I'll have them linked down below in the description and also in my storefront. So if I have different designs, they'll be all right there. But And the shipping on the shirts is real fast because they're on Prime. So, you know, you'll get them in like two days shipping. That's why I got them so quick. And, you know, I just wanted to show them right there to you. And as you guys can see, I still have my dashboard apart and all the door panels because I'm still, you know, working on here. But I do want to change out the steering wheel to my wood grain. And then I also do want to do some more wiring the door. So that's why I still have them off and my dashboard off because, you know, I don't want to be taking them on and off. But you guys let me know what you think on the shirts right there. So if you guys do any purchases on the shirts or, you know, the channel memberships, all that stuff helps out the channel. Even likes, you know, comments. Like. So that's just another way right there. If you like to support the channel, you know, you can purchase a shirt. I also do have the YouTube memberships. I'm not sure if you guys check them out, but, you know, it'll have like extra perks on the channel. So, you know, like custom emojis. And also you get to see like, you know, behind the scenes videos and all that. And that'll help support the channel right there. But if you guys can't do anything like that, you know, don't forget, you can just hit that like button down below, you know, subscribe, comment. All that stuff helps out right there. So, you know, don't worry about it. And you can also see right here, the puddle lights are doing pretty good. So, you know, they're still working right there. So... All three of them are still good. And I'll go ahead and try out the pillars as well. So, so right over here, you can check out on the pillars. So they're still doing fine. 
And if you also remember the first time that I did them, they are used from the Yukon. So they already had like, you know, years on them and they're still working right there. So that's why I like these, you know, not compared to those like cheaper brands and stuff like that. Let me know what you think on the pillars right here. So I think it makes it look better right there. And then also I'll have to finish up the video on the license plate LED. You can kind of see right here, it's got an LED strip and a bar on there. So it's real bright at night. And you know, I'll complete that later on. I haven't forgot about it. You know, I just haven't had too much time, but you know, I'll try to make it as well. So just stay tuned on that one right there. And like I said, I mean, the pillars are looking real good. And you know, I just want to do some other stuff to the truck, but I do want to finish up that wiring in the front with the AC fans and the AC compressor. So the LEDs right there helped out a lot on the Escalade pillars, but I still do want to change out my tail lights. So, you know, I haven't forgotten about these as well. You know, I don't like these, so I'm gonna be taking them off later. I actually already have a set, but I have to do something to modify them because, you know, I purchased a different LED set and I'm not using the ones from the Yukon. So I'll be showing you guys later on this, but for now I do want to finish, you know, with the AC and all the stuff to get the truck running right. Cause you know, these are still good. You know, they function and all that. So I'm not really worried about them right now. And if you guys like to purchase a set of the LED pillar kit for me with the custom LEDs, I'll also have some in stock. You can just send me a message down below on my Instagram and I'll link it down here in the screen. And, you know, I have some kits ready right here, like I said. So, you know, they got the same high quality LEDs that I got in my Tahoe and on my Yukon. So I have some ready right here that are already plug and play. And I went ahead and labeled them up. So, you know, it gives you an easy installation right there. And like I said, they're exactly the same that I have here. So these strips are going to be the same that I have. So right I have here. them all loomed up and ready to go. And they're all labeled up individually, you know, for a simple install. It's really not that hard anyways. And, you know, this side just goes with double sided tape. And then you just get power off the tail lights. So you just get the ground from back here the running light and then also reverse and then on the bottom you'll get the turn signals from the trailer hitch harness so you know they're just simple like that and they're already labeled up so it makes it real easy so i'll just have these ready right there and you can reach me on my instagram which is migo713 so those tail lights you know i'll change them out later and you know i'm not trying to keep the stock ones because i know that you know they don't look that great so that's how the taco's looking right now guys and you know i do want to do some more stuff later on but like i said i'm just doing it slowly right there so hopefully I can get that compressor in quick and that way you know I can complete those videos and then I can start messing with all the other cool stuff like the drop and the interior on the steering wheel and all the other stuff. But you guys let me know what you think right there and that'll be it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. We're gone. I'll be back.